The resulting explosion completely demolished the armored doors, killed four Belgian soldiers, and wounded several others hiding behind the barrier. The blast also destroyed the staircase and ammunition elevators, making Belgian counterattacks from Maastricht 1 impossible. Morale amongst the Belgian soldiers in the fort plummeted. There wasn't much opportunity for further counterattacks against the German invaders. Conditions inside the fortress worsened soon after dawn. Several rounds from German light anti-tank guns were fired through the main gate and ruptured some drums of quicklime. Clouds of chlorine formed, and many Belgians believed the fortress was being attacked by poisonous gas. On the morning of May 11th, the Germans tried to cross the Albert Canal near Cannes several times, but were forced back by the fire from Canal Nord. Here, the flash of its 60mm cannon can be seen as men of the 51st Pioneers try to cross the canal to relieve Group Granite at Forte Banimal. In time, Forte Banimal was surrounded by German troops, but several Belgian positions continued firing. After consulting his superiors, Major Jartrand decided to surrender. At 11.30, an officer with a white flag appeared at the main entrance at Block 1. Forte Banimal had fallen into German hands. The Belgian garrison suffered 21 dead and many injured. Group Granite, only six killed and 15 wounded. Hitler's plans for the capture of Forte Banimal had succeeded beyond expectation. The German offensive rolled over the Albert Canal and into the heart of Belgium. At the same time, the Panzer divisions were unleashed through the Ardennes region and into France. The Germans swept everything before them. On May 28th, Belgium capitulated after 18 days, but not before causing over 2,000 German casualties in an assault against the Belgian fort of Aubin du Chateau that cost just six Belgian lives. Hitler was quick to honor the men of Sturmabteilung Koch. Each of the officers was awarded the Knight's Cross, and all of the other ranks received the Iron Cross except for Private Schmidt. His drunken antics on the guns of Cupola 120 would lose him that honor. In just six weeks, Hitler's armies had conquered Holland, Belgium, and France, and expelled the British Expeditionary Force at Dunkirk. This remarkable victory had been made possible by one of the most decisive raids in history, which had been the brainchild of Hitler himself. For the Belgian defenders, everything that could go wrong went wrong. But the destruction of the gun emplacements at Forte Banamal was only possible due to the effectiveness of the hollow charge weapons that were used for the first time in warfare. Forte Banamal had been the stronghold barring the German advance into Belgium and France. But the paratroopers of Group Granite were able to open the way for one of the greatest victories in military history through the use of new technology and the tactical innovation of assault gliders. Nazi Germany was never again to realize such an overwhelming triumph.